Today I have another curriculum video for you all. I am going to be sharing the curriculum that we are going to be using with my 11th grader for the 2022-2023 school year. Hello everyone, Michelle here, the Brave Homeschooling Mama. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I uh, This channel is all about homeschooling curriculum. That's all I talk about in here. And especially homeschooling children with special needs. So today I'm gonna share what I'm gonna be using with my 11th grader for next school year. My daughter does have, you know, some learning disabilities. So everything that I show to you are things that are good for her, for her developmental level. So I hope if you have a special needs child that is in high school, that this is helpful for you. I'm trying to find a curriculum for your child. So I'm gonna start with uh, language arts. Uh, I will not be sharing the books that we're gonna be reading because I share those probably in June. I wait until Brave Writer comes out with their books for the year with their you know literature guide. So I usually wait. I already have an idea, a couple things I'm gonna read, but I, I always wait to see if there's anything that I would like to read with my daughter. So other than the novels that we read, some of them we use guides, some of them we just read without you know, using a literature guide. I have what we're gonna be doing for grammar this year. We're gonna do Fix the Grammar Level 3 from IEW. I did a review on this for the Homeschool Review Pro. So we did four weeks of it so I can write a review and we stopped and we're gonna start this again in, in August when we start school back up. So we're doing Fix the Grammar 3, Robin Hood. So I have the student guide and I'll post the, the review so you can see that. A teacher's guide and it also comes with the Fix the Grammar cards, okay? So you can watch the video of my review so you can see the inside of it and how I use it. Next thing I have, we're gonna continue working through Apple's um, daily spelling drills. This is for secondary students. Work great, works great for kids with a struggle, kids with special needs, easy lessons. Uh, we started this this year, we are up to lesson 47. So we are just gonna continue working on it. Just to continue practicing those spelling rules that sometimes you know, difficult for kids, so it's Apple Spelling. And then for writing, we are not gonna be doing Write Shop anymore. We did it for two years, and I think it was time to move on to something else. I like Write Shop. We did like half a level one, and then she took Write Shop two and a co-op, and did a couple, but maybe a little bit less than half of the lessons. And, but I think she needs something a little bit different. Write Shop, even if it's wonderful, it's great for kids that struggle with writing. Just all the rules that they have there, and it's kind of hard to, you know, they, they need, they have a lot of rules for their writing and I want it to be a little bit more open for her. So we're gonna be doing Seven Sisters Homeschool. I am really excited about trying this. This is introductory guide to high school level writing. And the introductory one is for kids that are, that are either ninth grade or higher than haven't had any, any, a lot of writing experience and also kids that, you know, that struggle with writing. Se Seven Sister Homeschool, so they have the introductory guide to high school writing. There's also an intermediate and an advanced, depending on where your child is. This is one of the reasons I love Seven Sisters Homeschool because of, of the different levels for the different, you know, for, for, for the way, you know, because every child, you know, learns different. So I love it about the different levels. And I'll do a, a walkthrough of this, but the first part we're gonna do is introductory guide to high school, high school essay writing. And we're gonna start with that one. And that one is 10 weeks of assignments. The next one we're gonna do is poetry. And this one is gonna be only five weeks. Then we have APA, introductory guide to writing an APA research paper and even if my, my, my daughter is not college bound, she might, she might not have to write, but I think it's always good to know how to write a paper, how to cite source, you know, sources. So we're gonna do that. And then the last thing we'll do in here, that one, this one is a little long. Well, this one has 15 weeks and the next one is family writing, uh, short stories. And this one is five weeks. So depending, it usually takes us more than one week to do one week of work. So we'll see, we'll start this and we don't finish, we'll finish it next school year. So this is what we're gonna be doing for writing. Seven Sisters Homeschool. I totally recommend to look into them, especially for your special needs high schooler. Great resources, everything is kind of by level. 
it, you know, you, you can adapt it, you know, to different levels. So introductory guide to writing, high school writing. This is for I'm writing. Next thing I have is math. Um, we did Saxon math for two years and I love Saxon math. Uh, my daughter is, we, we're stuck at the moment. So we're gonna try something different. So we'll see, we have tried so many things. So we're gonna try and give it one more try. We have two years of high school, learn math fast system level one. So this is for all levels. This is for kids that struggle with math. Kids that you wanna, you know, try to catch them up from little guys all the way to adults. So this book is great. We're gonna start with just simple addition and subtraction, but it moves to, um, you know, multiplication, long division, and I'll probably do a um, walkthrough of this, you know, later on. But so this is short lesson that explains it very well. So we already started, we did about half a sex of math and we started this one already. So we're gonna try to, work as much as we can between now and maybe the end of June, because then my daughter's gonna be gone for, you know, for, for the month of July. So we are going to try to work as much so we hopefully let in a level two. So learn math fast, level one, and hopefully we can do level one and level two, maybe three for by the next school year, okay? Next year I have, I have history right here. And this is for my horse loving daughter. We're gonna be doing history on horseback. And so this is the history curriculum that is not everything in history is going to be in here, but everything that where a horse was involved, we're going to be talking about. And if anything, we're going to go a little bit deeper. We can watch videos. We can read books. But so history and horseback, it is short reading. There's 55 lessons in here. Each lesson, the reading is only about a page and a half to two, one to two pages of reading. We're going to be doing some reading. And then we're gonna be doing some work from the activity guide. If you wanna have more, you know, a little bit more work for credit, be able to have, you know, a, 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 you know, give it a credit, you need to have the book and the study guide or the activity guide. So the activity guide is just per lesson. You're gonna, it gives you a little bit more information about each lesson and it gives you activities, you know, to do some map work and also some, you know, some short research activities that you, you are gonna be doing. So this is what kind of the, so the lesson looks like. So this is, you know, for lesson 16, we'll read the book and then we'll go ahead and read this and do an activity here. It says, you know, a, a question or a writing topic that we're gonna work through. And I'll give you, probably give you a walk through this a little bit more in depth, but this is how we're gonna be going for history. And since the lessons are short, um, they're not gonna be too time consuming. We are gonna also be doing uh, gather around their, you know, government mini unit. So we're going to incorporate, maybe we can do this once a week and then do a government unit, you know, so one, you know, alternate daily or weekly. I don't know we're going to do it yet, but that's what we're going to be doing for history. They, I thought they were going to be coming with more from this book, History and Horseback, but they only have level, you know, the early years, the first book. I don't know when they're going to be coming with the, you know, later on from, this is from 1493 to 1866. So I, and they're supposed to come with other books. I don't know what happened there because I haven't, that's all, the only one they have there is now. This is from Stable Sunrise, I think it is. So I will put it below um, where, where you can find it. Stable something, <laughs> but anyways. Uh, History and Horseback, the book and the activity guide. And then we're gonna be doing a little um, research on horses. So I think it's, it's just, it's gonna be history, gonna be some geography, but also some history of horses and learning more about horse breeds. It's pretty neat. Next I have the horse science. My daughter wanted to do forensic science. And I looked and looked and there's not much out there. Um, I found some things from some companies, homes, but it was too expensive. And as I know, we're not gonna do that. So I, I as a research and looking, I found this free, free, curriculum from a high school teacher that he decided he wanted to put it online for everybody to use and it's pretty cool so and i i use this i'll put the link below I can't remember the, the name of the so it's reading there's also some um some powerpoint presentations that go with the reading and some worksheets to go with the reading on the powerpoint presentation i don't know how rigorous this is 
I don't, you know, how, how in, in, involved or intense it is, but I will read this with her because I, I'm, I'm interested in this too. I love crime shows and crime stuff. So we're going to go through that. So we, I only printed out lesson one to four. So we have introduction here. And then, you know, the types of physical evidence, glass and soil, and, you know, fingerprints. And it goes through everything for autopsies and everything. So it's going to be neat. And I also found another website from homeschool giveaways or homeschool freebies, one of those. Again, I'll post them below. Um, with tons of resources. It, like, this is one of the, you know, of the links for with some of the resources. But there's games and more worksheets and maybe some videos. There's tons of things that you can do. So we're going to do forensic science from online that I found from Brendan, Brennan Sapp, B, uh, B-S-A-P-P dot com. So forensic science. I'm excited. So and next we're going to be doing uh, Spanish one from schoolhouseteachers.com. We did Rosetta Stone last year and I wanted, she didn't like it. So I want something to be where she's practicing more her writing in Spanish, her speaking and learning a little bit of, you know, uh, you know, culture from, you know, different Spanish speaking countries. So this is, I, I this also a download I've also had to print. So I printed the first six lessons. So it, it may, it seems like it's short, but it, if you look at the, at the lesson plan from, you know, schoolhouse teacher, it tells you what to do every day. Like make sure you are memorizing this, you know, this vocabulary and do this, do that, you know, listen to this audio, whatever. And at the end of each lesson, there's a quiz. And after six, ten, six lessons or so, there's a, there's a test. So I like that, that it has practice in the back. So we'll start. She she might fly through this. She knows a lot already, especially since we did in our Rosetta Stone. But I think this one is going to be a little bit better to work on her grammar and her writing in Spanish. So, so yeah, so Spanish one from schoolhouseteachers.com. Again, I'll put a link to all these things in the description box. So the next thing is for electives. For electives, we are going to be doing uh, foundations of personal finance from um, Dave Ramsey. So uh, I think this, this is going to be only half a credit. We might do this one in the fall. Um, it is, I bought it, it was on sale, but I haven't opened it yet because the link is only good for a year. So I wanted to make sure that, you know, I didn't open it too, too early, but I think I might do that soon so I can see how we're going to work through it. And then, um, I also found some modules for equine studies from somebody that's local, actually, that she has these modules online and look really good just to learn about different things about horses since that's what she wants to do about, you know, uh, n n nutrition, what to do in different, you know, first aid emergencies, so all these things. And I was kind of bummed when I looked at it because it went up in price from when I looked at it first. So I'll see, maybe they'll have a deal, uh, but we'll see. I might just, you know, get it because I think it's going to be really good for her. I mean, it's really good. And I might be able, you know, that the farm from that lady that, or, or the, is she is really close to here. So we might be able to go, you know, visit and, and, and meet her and see what, what, you know, she could do. So I'm pretty excited about that. So yeah. So that's, this is what I'm going to be using for next school year for my 11th grader for, you know, for, for, for school. And I'll be sharing the books later on, probably in the next couple of weeks, the books that we are going to be reading. So I hope this was helpful, especially if you have a special needs high schooler of the curriculum that you can use for your child to give you some ideas. I will see you soon.